We went deep inside this cellar dug into a thick seam of chalk under the streets of Paris to catch a glimpse of the liquid treasures being sold by the Elysee Palace. Our guide, Juan Carlos, picked out his favourites from the collection of 1,200 bottles up for grabs, most of them at the pinnacle of their shelf life and ready for immediate drinking. A vintage Krug from 1985, the only one left. Claude du Menil from 1985, which is an excellent year in Champagne, and unluckily we only have one of those bottles in the auction. A Petrus from 1990, expected price $3,000. We are doing this to get the, the seller to show more of what French, uh, French viticulture is today. Only one-tenth of the contents of the Elysee's wine cellar is actually up for auction. It's expected to fetch more than 300,000 US dollars. That, of course, is just a drop in the ocean of French debt, but at least it shows a socialist president willing to share the pain of austerity with the French people. It's a special sale because of the extraordinary origin of the lots, the Elysee Palace. Each bottle has a little red, white and blue emblem on it. That will drive up prices. Bottles that would normally sell for two and a half to four thousand dollars could easily fetch fifteen to twenty thousand dollars. But what did past French presidents look for when they haunted the cellars under the Elysee? François Mitterrand loved a bottle of Haute Marbouze, a nose both complex and closed, with notes of vegetable, cedar and tobacco. Georges Pompidou preferred several glasses of Chateau Chasplin, known for its tight, unctuous structure. Jacques Chirac only drank beer in public, but behind the scenes liked to uncork a Dom Perignon. As for François Hollande, he's shown enthusiasm for Sauternes, which, when aged, has a buttery, hazelnutty finish. If you're thinking of putting in a bid, it's best to remember, with wine of this age, there's a one in six chance the bottle could be corked. You pay your money and take your chances. David Chater, Al Jazeera, Paris.